Hey everyone, Ariel Adams here with the blog to watch. Please subscribe to our videos on YouTube and like this video if you find it useful. This is a review of the Panerai Luminor 1953 Days Chrono Flyback Automatic PAM00524, aka the PAM524. So that's a really long name, and that's because there's a lot going on here. Um, first, you have the Luminor case, but you have the Luminor 1950 case, and inside you have the three days. Um, automatic movement that does have the chronograph uh, with a flyback complication. So there's a lot going on here. Um, this is an interesting Panerai that sort of blends a lot of different things together. Um, it's not what I would recommend is someone's first Panerai, but if they are looking for a Panerai chronograph in a 1950 case with a relatively simple dial, then this is a sign that they may want to look at. Um, I think one of the nicest things about this watch is that blue um, chronograph seconds hand. And at first glance, if you weren't using this watch, you'd think that this was just a literally a one minute chronograph because the subsidiary uh, dial here is for the seconds and there's no counters for chronograph minutes or hours. So this wa what this watch has is a central seconds and central minutes. So this measures um, 60 minutes. So I'll go ahead and start the chronograph there and you can see that as one hand moves there's another hand that remains and so that other hand is there to measure the chronograph minutes while this one measures the seconds and that's pretty nice and, and, and I like um, central uh, second central minute chronograph watches. The problem I feel is that this hand is difficult to see and by hand I mean the chronograph minute hand. It's it's in polished steel, it's relatively slim. Panerai is known for having very legible hands, which is true with the hour minute hand, but I feel that the chronograph hands suffer from being a little bit difficult to see. So this is a chronograph um, watch, but the chronograph complication is a little bit more difficult to use. Um, you'll notice that the chronograph start um, and stop pushers are here on the left side of the case, and I like that they have um, little um, indicators on there, so um, this one will say uh, start and stop, and this one will say um, RF for reset or flyback. So the way a flyback mechanism works is that instead of having to stop and reset and start it again, I can just push this and it starts uh, from the top, which is cool and that's and that's basically what a fly, flyback complication is. Um, that's all part of the in-house made Panerai P9100 automatic movement. It has three days of power reserve. Um, you can see right there the exposed column wheel. And I like Panerai's more industrial finishing on their movements. So the, 90, the P9100 is one of their in-house made movements and, it, and it's pretty nice. Um, in regard to Panerai case styles, this one's 44 millimeters wide. I think it's about 47 with their sort of um, trademarked uh, crown guard system here. And it's pretty neat. Um, I actually like the radio mirror style cases a little bit better, but that's just sort of personal taste. Let's put that on the wrist here and see what it's like. I mean, Panerai does a nice job. This cushion style case um, kind of always looks good. Um, it's very attractive. This one kind of... I don't want to say messes with, but changes the dynamics of a sort of traditional Panerai look because it has these chronograph pushers on the side, so it's not quite as clean. Um, but it's good that they put it on this side and they didn't mess with this system. The way this works is there's a little flap right here, and it opens up, and then that allows you to sort of um, pull out the crown to adjust the time. Though while it is down, you can still wind the watch if you want. There is a date indicator window there, which I like that it's matching colors. Overall. The, the PAM uh, 524 is an attractive watch, and again, it is a very simple chronograph. If you're looking for that in the Panerai, um, though there are many other uh, fully featured Panerai chronograph watches and slightly more simplistic um, Luminor models. So this is kind of something in between for people, but as Panerai fans know, um, they really sort of offer every little variation for everyone. So if you like some features of this watch, but not others, there's definitely going to be other timepieces out there for you. Um, the strap is nice, and it matches the colors on the dial well. Of course, given that as a Panerai, you could easily go ahead and change the strap to many other different types of things. I bet, I bet a blue strap would kind of look cool on here as well. The Panerai Luminor 1953 Days Chrono Flyback Automatic retails for $12,800, and you can see the full review on the blog to watch soon. Thanks.